About four years ago, several colleagues who are involved in design and planning fields in Hong Kong and who also work with various NGOs and other community-based organisations found that we were all concerned about the same thing, which was what we saw as a growing and rather worrying trend, where Hong Kong groups, mostly younger, in their teens or early twenties, were losing faith and interest in the future of the city and were looking for a different way of life and probably a much more interesting and exciting one. They were forming loose, inward-looking groups and, and trying to build a new, more inclusive and equal world for themselves. Many of the groups were based on different types of music, art, drama, performance, display, and were located widely across Hong Kong. But the one thing they had in common, particularly at that time, was difficulty in finding venues that were suitable but inexpensive to put on exhibitions, displays, performances, or simply to meet with like-minded people. We all felt that many of us were in the real estate world and therefore we were fairly familiar with the way Hong Kong works as far as venues and developments and approvals and this type of thing are concerned. We felt that many of our public spaces, uh, under flyovers, quiet streets, pedestrianised areas, one or two of them, other public spaces, along the waterfront particularly, um, were certainly not being utilised as well as they could be for public benefit or for public enjoyment. And so we decided we would try to identify appropriate open spaces, public open spaces, and repurpose them into perhaps not very formal, but quite useful venues. This we do by securing approvals, as, as required, and there's always an approval required in Hong Kong, whether from government or from private sector owners, and inviting all the groups that we could find to take make use of the space for whatever type of, I have to say, legal event uh, that they wish to put on. We pulled all our contacts, we set up a Facebook page and issued an online open call, which, with an attempt to attract interest from as many people as possible, and did attract interest uh, from what has become a fairly regular group of collaborators and contributors although each event brings in new groups and new supporters, which is great because we can grow them in different ways. One of our key requirements is that access to the space we use must be free, no access charges, and open to all comers. Initially, we tried to raise funding so that we could make the whole thing free, so that uh, we could assist with the cost of collaborators and those of the fitting out and decorating of the space to make it more attractive, the volunteers that we needed for security and the sort of thing that was always insisted on, not to mention marketing and publicity. However, since the first very Hong Kong event, which was in December 2013, which was organised on that basis, we've had to adjust our sights a little, I'm afraid. For events that we initiate, we now have been very fortunate in finding sponsorship and we can usually meet most of our costs, although not all of those uh, from the people who work with us and our collaborators. If, however, as was the case with Devere Road, we are invited to assist with the curating of an event initiated by another organisation, which we're very pleased to do for several of our events, which we'll see the pictures of, uh, then sometimes we can also help assist with the collaboration costs of our people who work with us.